Hey guys, this is Matt Core from controlpaint.com. And today let's talk about blending paint using tool pairs. But before we get started, I have to apologize. In this video, I repeatedly say the words blender brush. Well, that doesn't actually exist. What I meant to say is mixer brush. So anytime you hear the word blender brush, just replace it with mixer brush. All right, let's get to it. Well, you've seen me in many videos use a combination of the brush tool followed by the eraser tool. This is something that I usually do on a new layer, so I call it temp layers. Well, really what's happening here is we're getting a third tool that doesn't really have a name, but it's a tool that consists of using the brush and the eraser in equal measure, almost fast enough with keyboard shortcuts that it feels like a single tool. Now, if I were only allowed to use the brush tool, we'll say, painting would be harder for me. In fact, I've gotten so conditioned to using both the brush tool and the eraser tool in equal measure that that is digital painting for me. Well, today I want to talk about a different tool pair, one that I've started using more and more, and that is the brush tool and the blender brush tool. So first I'll show you just what the blender brush tool does. And here I'm only using a single preset that I've made. It is just going to kind of blend between these two areas of color. This is an effect you can achieve with a variety of different methods, but one way to do it is with the blender brush. So the way the tool pair works, I'll show you on a new layer here. So I lay down some color, and then when I want to blend between this edge, I'll switch to the blender brush. Now the blender brush has the B shortcut, just like the brush does. So you might think, well, how do I switch back and forth really quickly? Well, what you can do if they have the same keyboard shortcut is to hold down shift and then hit the B key. So shift B switches me to the blender brush, which allows me to kind of blend that edge. And then shift B again switches to the brush tool. So in this way, I can use a really simple keyboard shortcut to go back and forth between these two tools. Now it doesn't allow me to change the custom brush that I'm using. So I'm only using the hard round and then a specific type of blender brush. But by going back and forth between the two, I actually get a really nice combination because it can be really easy to apply paint with a hard round brush, but it doesn't always give you the nicest edge. So sometimes all you want to do is just kind of soften up the edge a little tiny bit. Well, if you get in the habit of switching back and forth between two tools like this, you kind of get the best of both worlds. So it's not to say that this is the only way I ever paint, but if you can get the habit of this quick tool switch, it becomes much more powerful than either of those tools on their own. Just like using the brush tool and the eraser tool, I find that using the brush tool and the blender brush is a really great pair. And if the default behavior of holding down shift and then hitting B doesn't feel very good to you, remember you can always bind a new keyboard shortcut. The way Photoshop handles this is that all tools, and these are both tools, have to have a single letter key. So if you really wanted to, you could bind the G key to be your blender brush because it's right next to B on the keyboard. And in that way, you wouldn't have to use shift at all. It would just be two individual letters to kind of switch back and forth between the tools. Now, for a lot of you, this is not going to be an earth shattering revelation. You're probably already using the blender brush and you're already using the brush. But I really think that there's something special that happens with the muscle memory of just quickly switching back and forth between the two. So give it a try. And at some point, you might find this just becoming part of your arsenal and not even thinking about it. Have fun painting. Thanks for coming to the site, guys.